Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to create these beautiful and natural nail extensions using tips as well as builder gel. So let's get right into the video. All right, so for my senior pictures, I actually went ahead and did these new kind of extensions that I've never done on myself. And I was really in love with the outcome and I figured I would go ahead and film a quick tutorial for you guys so you can see one of the newer ways I've learned how to do some extensions as well as a super easy technique. So I'm actually going to have to remove one of the nails to show you how to do it, so that's what I'm doing here. I just clipped off the excess length with my Sparkle & Co. tip cutter. And now I'm taking a 100 grit nail file and I'm just filing down the Builder Gel product. So there is a layer of gel top coat and then a pretty good amount of the Builder Gel over the tip. So I'm going to file a decent amount to really thin that down and make the silk off process a lot faster. And here you can see how thin I really filed that product down and I did take off the excess tip length. And now I just soaked a little piece of cotton in some pure acetone and I'm placing my nail clip on top and I let this sit for about four minutes. And now I'm just taking a metal cuticle pusher and pushing off and scraping any of the lifted product. This is not a harsh process, you should be very gentle while doing this. And I'm only taking off the product that has lifted. And then of course I'm going to keep repeating this process until all of the gel is soaked off. And I find this is one of the more gentle methods of removal instead of just filing completely down to the natural nail. So I'm going to let you guys watch me finish up the removal process and then I will go ahead and get into the actual process of the extensions. Alright, so for this process, I'm starting with my Sparkle & Co. pH prep liquid and this is going to dehydrate the nail surface and prep it for the application. And I also went ahead and pushed back the cuticles and gently buffed the surface of my nail, which I didn't show in the video. And then I just showed the tips I'm going to be using. They are my favorite McCart clear tips. And I adhered them using my double dip base liquid, which is basically just a nail glue. And for some reason, I didn't film me actually applying the tip. I could have sworn I did, but I guess I didn't. So anyway, I just adhered that to my natural nail. And now I'm cutting down the excess length and generally cutting it into the shape I'm going for. And now, of course, I'm going to perfect that shape using my nail file. And for this specific manicure, I was going for sort of a tapered square coffin effect. I didn't want them to be super unnatural looking, and I find that this is a pretty natural shape, so that is what I went for. And then I'm going to go ahead and buff the surface of the tip as well, after going along the free edge and side walls. Then I'm going to apply another layer of my Sparkle & Co. pH prep to the natural nail to dehydrate it. And then I'm going to go in with a layer of my Sensational Gel Primer. Now this is not necessary, I just find that it helps my gel last as long as possible so I applied a thin layer of that to my natural nail as well. And here is the builder I'm using, it is called Builder Light Beige from Madame Glam. And this whole line from them is really great, they have a lot of different shades of this builder gel and I really do enjoy them, so I will link my discount code below for Madame Glam in case you guys want to check that out. But basically for this process, all I'm doing is taking a bigger bead of the gel and spreading it out on my nail, and I thin it out towards the cuticle area and tip of the nail, and try my best to build an apex, and then I cure in between each layer. So here I ended up doing two coats, and this is the second coat. And I don't really try to make it perfect right here because you totally can go in and file after. I'm just trying to generally build up the structure. And after I have fully cured both layers of the gel, I'm going to remove the tacky surface with some rubbing alcohol and a lint-free wipe. And now I'm going to go ahead and completely file and shape the nail. 
So I always start on the free edge and sidewalls and perfect that shape. And then I like to go along the top of the nail and sort of angle my file down. And this is going to help thin out the tip area and have that nice curve. And then of course I like to go around the cuticle area to make it nice and flush with the natural nail. And that is generally the filing routine I always do for all of my nail structures. And once the filing is complete, I'm going to seal in the extension with my Nail Attic No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And this is going to add a beautiful shine to the nail and really bring out that color. So I'm just applying a thin coat and then wrapping the free edge and curing for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Coat Oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the builder gel and tip extension method. I think this is honestly one of the easiest methods of extensions I've done. It can be a little bit tricky with the builder gel sort of moving around, but I find that this Madame Glam product works really great and it's relatively easy to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.